My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a pretty special 71 Chevelle. It's got a nice unique look, all white with the satin gray stripes, match the wheels, but the I think the biggest asset this car is going is it's sheet metal. It's a southern car. From what I can tell, the metal's original. It's outstanding. There is a high-performance built 350 under the hood, and there's a five-speed trans in between the bucket seats. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. For right now, join me for a spin in this 71 Chevelle. Yeah, underneath the car is super clean. The inner rockers and even the inner quarters right behind the tires, a drain plug on each side. Those are always rotted away, cut out, new ones put in. That's original. The plugs are still there and it's clean. Same thing with the inner rockers and the floors, all nice clean metal. Uh, when you look up at the motor, it's got a chrome oil pan, uh, the starter, the fuel pump look new. It's a Borg Warner five speed that's been upgraded with. Disc brakes up front. Uh, the front end is not brand new, but the ball joints and boots and bushings, they've been replaced. It's just maybe a few years ago and they look fine. Um, the body itself is pretty amazing. I was in the trunk, which we'll get to that in a minute, but I was looking up inside here, spotless metal, no cuts, no splices, even up in here, it's just, it's just super clean metal. Bottom of the doors and fenders are nice. Everything fits. Like down here, it's flush. This is so nice. It's not a wave, not a not a bubble or blister. I mean, it's nice all along the bottom. That's where they rust and they get repaired. This is clean. No emblems. If you notice, it's a nice, clean look. No vinyl top, no emblems, just nice. They did add a super sport hood with the gray stripes. These are decals, the correct dimensions. They match the wheels. I think that's a really, really cool look. The paint is polished out beautifully. It's really glossy. Things fit, like I said, real nice. Uh, these look new. The bumper looks new. The grill looks new. These maybe aren't brand new. Yeah, they're probably replaced too. They look really good. Um, as far as the paint flaws, the edge of the hood has like maybe a buffer hit it right on this edge here. Um, Really not much that I found. This piece of trim's missing. We'll put one of those on there. And then I don't know if there's paint on here. I can't feel it, but there's like a black mark there. It might polish off. Bow tie mirrors, door handles are new. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the paint's outstanding. 17's in front, 18 inch in back, and they're a little wider, performance tires. It just has a nice look that you don't see on any other Chevelle. Bumpers replated. Rear window is not new, but it's very clear. The trim around it's new. Super bone dry. The trunk floor, not a patch, nothing schmoozed up. It's just, it's nice, clean trunk. Gray and white spatter finish. Has a new mat, no spare. Uh, nice gloss white, new weather strip. New rubber window seals, all new weather strips. Door jams are painted very nicely. The bottom. The lip on the bottom of the door is absolutely spotless. Uh, sill plates were replaced. Windshield is new. It's a 350 motor, bored out to a 355. Has a performance rebuild. It's got upgraded aluminum heads, aluminum intake, a big dual feed Halley carb, HEI ignition. Uh, it's got some headers on it. And the fuel pump looks new. Alternator still has a sticker on it. The power steering gearbox is new. It's a Borgeson steering box and the joints, that's all replaced. The power master uh, booster and, and master cylinder looks like they're fairly new. 
um, the shroud, the fan, everything looks real proper. Battery, oh, the bolt hold downs there, it needs to be tightened up. Uh, squirters, I don't see hooked up. The uh, washer bottles there, but uh, I don't see the squirters hooked up. Super, super clean edge right there, crisp, clean edge. Door panels, armrests, window cranks, handles, all that's been replaced. Seats have been reupholstered. See how this is all new? Uh, bucket seats, new carpet, uh, headliners new. It's a little wrinkled. It's not, I say, tight as a drum, but it's still pretty nice. It does have one split in the dash pad right down the middle here. And they did put in the SS uh, instrument. So it has the factory gauges with the tachometer, the, the round gauges. Uh, five speed on the floor, her shifter, heater controls look nice. Has a, a cassette player, aftermarket, and a cushion grip GT steering wheel. Aluminum valve covers have flames inscribed in them. Uh, all nicely painted. You could detail this a little more, a little polish on the valve covers. There's some white overspray on the wiper motor. Maybe replace that and get the squirters hooked up just to finish this off a little bit nicer. You could tinker under there, but it's good the way it is. We're going to fire it up for you. That's responsive. That's like snappy, like right now. This thing scoots. That's a snappy, responsive engine. So I uh, look forward to George's test drive on this one. I bet this thing really moves along great. And that fifth gear is nice for on the highway. You put it in fifth gear and you just cruise down the road. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can find plenty of ways to contact our salespeople. I just gave you my impression of the car. I'm sure you might have more specific questions or concerns. You can talk to them. They'll help you with uh, everything about the car the process, uh, paperwork, delivery, financing. So go to volocars.com and uh, contact us that way. Um, if you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.